Whoop. <sighs> Matt and Josh is on comics. Uh, Perfect timing. We have been off for a week. Josh was gallivanting in Vegas on a business trip slash birthday. Yes. Uh, how old are you now? 22, 23? 29 years <laughs> old. <laughs> 36 years young, baby. Oh, you're closer to 40. Yes, I've bridged the small river gap between uh, being a young lad and being an old fuddy-duddy. So I think that's that's pretty much it, right? I, we like, six, I always thought we were more than six years apart. Seven, you know, obviously, oh, I guess, no, well, I'm turning a little 40, bit more. 43 this yeah, year. so Just a little, tiny bit more, not much. but uh, I, su- <laughs> yeah, I suppose when we started working together back in the day, you were 18 and I was 20 six yeah i think it was yeah 18 or 19 which uh i mean again not too far off hey i haven't really matured much since then okay um so helverine was a big deal in ghost rider a new character Mm -hmm. um and they're giving him his own solo series uh marvel to launch new helverine series in may 2024 there we have the first cover pretty Halloween. good yeah uh That's last fault. year writer benjamin percy set the world the comic book comic world ablaze with the debut of halverine and the explosive ghost rider wolverine weapons of vengeance crossover and this may halverine returns with the demonic force known as bagra ghoul first came to earth it brought logan and ghost rider together to hunt to hunt it before it possessed Wolverine, but now in the present day, what event will put the halverine back on the streets and is he slashing his hellfire claws for good or evil Oh. And introducing the all-new Hellfire Warriors. Don't miss the launch of the all-new series. Brought to you by Hellverine co-creator Benjamin Percy and blazing hot talent Julius Ota. Uh, copies of Wolverine 36, which featured the first appearance of Hellverine and the Weapons of Vengeance crossover, have sold on eBay for up to $40 of late, while a 9.8 wow. CGC slabbed copy sold for $172. Uh, might go even higher than that now that the character's getting their own miniseries. Uh, this is coming out May 29th uh, in stores. It's going to be a limited series, one of four. Damn. So, uh, I do, luckily I do have a copy of that because I have Wolverine on my pull list. I also have Ghost Rider on my pull list. Uh, but yeah. when I was getting, a, getting to be a hot book, I went back to the LCS and they were all sold out. <laughs> Just trying to go, grab myself another copy. Um, Tough call. Okay, X-Men 97, we finally got a trailer. Uh, did you watch the yes, trailer? I did. Pretty good trailer. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, <sighs> yeah, that was nice. Some. <laughs> so uh, most of the voices are back. Yeah. Uh, although Wolverine does sound a bit different, even though it's the same actor as, you know, he's yeah. 30 years older than he was at the time. Um, yeah, I've, I've noticed. I don't know how many um, recent uh, cartoons slash, you know, uh, animated stuff uh you've been watching with returning voice actors uh-huh. uh that used to be in it but i'll give you one quick example is um clone high clone high came back they used most of the og voice actors for a lot of the characters uh-huh. and some for new characters obviously uh-huh. and it's crazy because the person who voices cleopatra yeah is is back for the same character as well. If I'm not mistaken, I believe she voices another character in the show, a new oh. character. Oh. And the new character sounds more like Cleopatra than <laughs> Cleopatra sounds like Cleopatra, which is crazy, right? Because yeah. it's the same fucking person. They're just playing different characters, yet they, you know, one sounds like it was 20 years ago and the other one sounds like it's present day. Right. And I feel like that's the case with a lot of these voice actors is that, you know, they may sound similar, but they're definitely not even close. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, you know, you're comparing almost like pre-puberty to post-puberty. <laughs> Middle age to senior citizen. Um, okay, yeah. Where we're about to go to, yeah. I did have uh, one of my friends did comment that uh, Cyclops didn't sound the same, and it's because that yeah. actor died. <laughs> um, the original actor, No way. Yeah, the original voice actor for uh, Cyclops passed away in 2020, as did oh. the original voice actor for Magneto. He also passed away in 2020 or 2019. So that's why those two voices sound different. Uh, okay. But the rest of the cast is back. They uh, sound terribly different, I'm going to say. No, like, like the Cyclops sounded fine. Pretty um, close. Oh, when he said the line? <laughs> uh, yeah, just... Uh. <laughs> okay. 
it is an R-rated Ta- show. However, okay, it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so the first trailer's out, and it's coming out soon, March twentieth. It's set to premiere on Disney Plus. Uh, I think this is going to probably end up being one episode per week. Yeah, they didn't really. I would assume I seen so. Any information on that whether. Marvel usually doesn't dump it unless... Uh, I mean, the first time they've done that was with Echo. Um, yeah. They should know that having this as a, you know, 8 p.m. Wednesday nighter for two months is the way to go, but... Yeah. I mean, who knows what their fucking plan is. Silly gooses. Yeah, so definitely excited. Um, we'll see... We'll probably... I mean, we'll definitely talk about it when uh, it comes out. But that comes out March 20th. Okay. Um, Werewolf by Night director Michael Giacchino. Rumored mm. to be in the helm in talks. Rumored to be in talks to helm Midnight Suns movie. I'll take uh, it all day. <laughs> yeah. So Midnight uh, World, bleh, Werewolf <laughs> by Midnight uh, was fantastic. Uh, one of the yes. best things on Marvel Disney Plus they've put out. That's good. Yes. Um, so I'm 100% for this guy, uh, <clears throat> like he can do Ghost Rider, if he wants to take over Moon Knight, um, like Moon Knight wasn't bad, could have been better, mm-hmm. um, yep. they definitely could go more of a, that new banner of Marvel Spotlight is mm-hmm. where their more adult stuff is going to be under now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so maybe put him in charge of the mystical horror kind of, you know, Thing. Be down. Yeah. Um, we've been hearing that Marvel Studios might be planning a Moon Knight Sun movie for quite a while, shortly after Moon Knight, after the Moon Knight finale aired. And the project has taken a major step forward if a new rumor is to be believed. According to Daniel Rickman, Marvel by Night director Michael Giacchino is attached in talks to home the movie. Though Moon Knight Sun's movie has yet to be officially announced, Marvel Studios is assembling his roster of supernatural magical characters for a team up event, which would seem like a smart. Move multiple characters have been a part of or are associated with teams in the with the team in the comics over the years. With the MCU's lineup would mostly like most likely include Moon Knight, Doctor Strange, World by Night, The Werewolf, Man Thing, and Blade. Uh, speaking mm. of no Morbius, eh? Get get Morbius out of there. Um, we don't need him. <laughs> speaking of the Daywalker, there's a rumor doing the rounds online that Ma- Masharhala Ali has parted ways with the upcoming Blade reboot due to the the old creative differences the move hasn't exactly had uh this, the movie hasn't exactly had the smooth of journeys to the screen so this wouldn't come as a major surprise but we will put, put in, we wouldn't put too much stock in this yet we'll be sure to update you uh i don't think he's leaving blade in fact i saw a rumor about he's voicing he's doing the voice of blade for the cartoon for what if yeah uh no yeah. blade's getting his uh i'm pretty sure blade is getting his own cartoon is he what not? Yeah, we did a, we did a whole, it's a Marvel anime. Yeah. Blade, oh. uh, okay, that's the 2011 oh, one. Wait. Oh, is Blade going to be, Marvel animated series is in an anime, wait, hold on. That's, I thought they were getting, I thought they were doing a new one. Blade cartoon, uh, Marvel, I guess it'd be under Marvel animation now. I doubt that they would put it there. Okay, so there's an anime version, but I swear there was talk of something <laughs> new coming. Anyways, you can look that up. I'm pretty sure it was, but I'll check. Don't call me on. Uh, yeah. So, um, I mean, we already have Werewolf by Night and Man Thing uh, and Moon Knight. Uh, mm-hmm. So maybe I don't know that Doctor Strange. I don't know that you could get Doctor Strange. Well, I guess it's a movie. If it's a television series, probably not. Um, I would consider him to maybe show guess, up high him. level in the in the terms of like Avengerness. Like he's one of them, I guess, kind of. So I mean, not really. I don't know, man. I kind of want this to be built though, like yeah, build it like Avengers, but do it with solo movies, and then do a Midnight yeah. Suns team up to take on I don't know Lilith, I guess. Um, yeah, or even change it to Mephisto or something. I don't know. <laughs> Which I um, assume that they would probably maybe do, but... Yeah, well, I guess we'll see what uh, oh, Ironheart, Ironheart shows. Ironheart, yeah. Mephisto, yeah. I guess. So, such a weird choice, again, but... For Ironheart, yeah. Yeah, um, we'll Okay, uh, 
Silver Surfer Solo Project rumored to be moving forward following the Fantastic Four debut. Uh, we'll have another video on the Fantastic Four news from last week, but um, this came out uh, yesterday. Uh, the Silver Surfer is expected to make his or her Marvel Cinematic Universe debut in the Fantastic Four, but it sounds like plans for a solo project featuring the character are still very much in place. You know, this is this is weird. We get a, a ton of like, oh, they're, they're working on a new series. We're getting Midnight Suns. And how many times have we talked about Bob Iger since he came back? It's like, nope, we're cutting it. We're cutting back. We're cutting back. No more, no more like weird, weird Disney Plus of like C characters. Not that Silver Surfer is a C character, but you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like every week we're getting a new rumor about a new movie or Disney Plus show. And then it seems like... They're supposed to be cutting back on that mm -hmm. stuff, so I don't know. Take this with a massive grain of salt. Uh, I think, um, I think to be honest, like one of the things that might be happening mm -hmm. is that uh, they're probably spending a lot of resources regarding doing <clears throat> the beginning processes of you know many stages of, of projects. Yeah, the ones that are the easiest and cheapest to do. Right. So, you know, I'm sure they're starting the ball on some things that they're like, okay, this possibility. And I think once it gets to the point where either Iger has to say yay or nay to give the go-ahead, the green light or whatever, mm -hmm. for it to continue. But I think they want to get a lot of things to that point where they can present it and be like, hey, this is oh, what yeah, we okay. are thinking. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think all this talk about, you know, Midnight Suns and... You know, the new talk about, you know, Avengers and changing the title, which we'll talk about later yeah. and the whole fucking thing. Um, I feel like they're they're gearing up to try to be able to go in many different routes that they can if they want to or, you know, do different things. I think they saw the success of um, the success of, you know, uh, Spider-Verse and everything else. They know, you know, what they're able to do, but they can't you know, they can't put out crap anymore. And that's the problem. And I guess Iger even said that they were thinking about like focusing on male leads again for a few years to try to flesh out. Yeah, apparently he said it. I don't know. I, I might have to find the interview. Yeah. Aww. And that left me with a sour taste in my mouth because if like, I feel like they might be unfocused regarding that, but I'd, again, I'd have to check. A uh, previous rumor claimed that Fantastic Four director Matt Shackman's multi-year deal with Marvel could potentially include helming episodes of a Silver Surfer Disney Plus series, while another indicated that it was actually a special presentation that was in the works. While it's not clear if this project is being developed for a big or small screen, insider Dana Rickman is reporting that the Sentinel of the Spaceways will feature his own solo adventure at some point. Uh, Marvel still believes we're searching for an actor to play the Silver Surfer in the Fantastic Four reboot. We've heard mm -hmm. the studio might be planning to cast a female take on the hero, and a Taylor Joy's name came up. But the female Herald of Galactus could turn out to be a completely separate character. Uh, we all know that Pedro Pascal, Vanessa Kirby, uh, Joseph Quinn, and Eben Moss Barak have been cast. Uh, still rumors going around about Killian Murphy, Mads Mikkelsen, mm -hmm. um... I don't know. I I mean, we'll get Silver Silver eventually. He's too important to the Fantastic Four universe. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't know that he'll get a, a solo outing. Mm -hmm. So I don't. Yeah, I don't. I I don't think he would get a Disney Plus series. That'd be weird. Maybe a Werewolf by Night thing, or it's just an hour. Yeah. Um, I really wouldn't do a movie unless there's a big build up to it of multiple Fantastic Four. Movies leading to Galactus, or et cetera, et cetera. Well, considering that they're they're having Galactus as the as the as the bad guy, we don't know that. Okay, well, <laughs> this is okay. Yeah, that's cool. I think, I I think I think what's going to happen is, yeah. I think what they'll do is probably have the fact that it's they're in the 60s or yeah. whatever right like they're probably stuck there yeah so like maybe something happened or whatever that involved galactus in some way like you know reed detecting i don't know something in space is coming or whatever the quantum and, particles are out of yeah control. yeah and then when they they go to investigate it in the ship and the ship gets fucking tossed in time and they land mm -hmm. on earth in the 60s and they're stuck there but and the, the you know the 
Right, so they have powers, but they don't know what to do with them right. or how to deal with them. So I'm assuming that maybe there's a good chunk of the movie that has to deal with that. But I feel like that, like the Galactus thing, will just kind of be like a looming issue over the whole movie up until the point where, you know, maybe they close the portal and he's gone now or something. And then they tease Doom, you know, and then Galactus yeah. comes back in two movies and absolutely wrecks everything. Like, I just don't see him being this overcoming crazy huge force in the first movie. No, they can't. They like they can't. Maybe maybe they get maybe they hear about this or like detect that he's coming and then yeah. they go to the future. They go back to the present and they know he'll be here in 10 years or something. I don't know. Mm. But like they they get an early warning and when they go back they have to prepare or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh that's Marvel okay. news of the week. With our random speculation about <laughs> things we don't know about. <laughs> yeah. Thanks.